Quinton win in the end, but hard earned. It was, yeah, never, never easy to win games. We stuck at it today. I thought in the first half we had good control of the game and were on top. Couldn't even find that that final ball, <coughs> the, um, uh, uh, the the finish. Uh, a couple of really good chances. Jamal's gone round the keeper, but McArdle's sort of blocked it off the line, and then just just the the one where Pittman just beat the keeper to it. And uh, Jamal just sort of agonisingly side-footed it wide, so we were on top. I wondered how the game would pan out in the second half anyway with a wind, but it didn't sort of stop us. We kept in control of the game and really pleased with the breakthrough because, you know, when they're playing 3-5-2 like that and the three real real big lads in the in the box, every time you do get it in, it's just, you know, they're defending it well. I don't think they had a shot in the game, uh, uh, Scunthorpe, so we dominated it, but once we got the breakthrough, I'm pleased to say then, you know, we didn't get nervous. We actually sort of went on and, and, and won it convincingly, which is, you know, quite a big step because there's many times this season we haven't done that and it's something we do need to do better because there's, you know, for the majority of the time we do and have got the first goal in the game, but there's been too many times where we've either got over the line uh, um, limping or, 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 you know, sides have got back to us and uh, it's, it's, it's a, something that we've been really talking about all year and I'm pleased to say that from 1-0 to 2-0 or 1-0 to 95 minutes, um, we actually look convincing in that period as well. Did you fear the breakthrough goal might not come? Yeah, I did. And you're looking whether it's a 0-0 day, there's, you know, that looking around the country, there's many tight games and, and you're looking at the conditions, you know, the wind, the bobbly pitch, but... You can't use that as an excuse. We've got to find a way of winning. And I'm pleased to say that we did, took the responsibility and, and kept going. And it was a very good breakthrough goal from, from Omar Bogle from a set piece. It was a, a regain, but even so, still from a set piece where, you know, he's not had much to feed on today. But it's a crucial goal, really, crucial breakthrough. And as I said, the most pleasing aspect of today is, is what we did after going 1 0 up, which, you know, we looked, it gave us confidence and we grew and and we, we, we played better from there on and uh, you know went away from the opposition rather than uh, uh, defending uh, all, all of the time and, and, and trying to scrape a win. You can feel and you can see the win so you can only imagine what it was like playing in it. Yeah, it wasn't easy and, and you know particularly the first half we're looking for that, that final ball, good positions but, but I thought the players were trying to do the right things, they were trying to get in the right areas, trying to play uh, the right way and you know against the 3-5-2 we were switching it, our full backs were, were coming into the game, we got the ball into good wide areas and we got good combinations. Uh, unfortunately for you know qu quite a, a long part we couldn't find that final ball or the finish but you know we stuck at it which is which is pleasing, uh, got a crucial first goal from, from, from Bogle from a, a regain and then as I said you know the most pleasing aspect is what we did from 1-0 up. Uh, till the end, which you know is as good as we've we've handled that situation. It's a points total that would have taken you into the playoffs this time last year. So uh, how confident are you now? Yeah, I mean we're on 71. That's good. You know, there's still eight left, so we're, we're you know, battling for that 24 and let's see how many we can get. I think our points total from the top two are maybe four and nine. Uh, Sunderland are in there as well, uh, but I'm pleased to say we're still in there for the top two. We have to keep thinking uh, about that and um, uh, pushing those sides all of the time because you never know but we will need even out the the remaining games a high amount but we're capable of it the club has good momentum when it gets going and um, we have to push all the, all the time all, all, all the way uh, and then if it is then the playoffs if that is the case then we want to be going in with confidence and a settled team and um, knowing exactly what we're doing and, and winning and playing well because you'll need that because you know whatever uh, the three teams that go up from this division this year, there'll be three good sides. Lost another player through injury today. Yeah, Viv has come off with a, a calf injury. Hopefully, it's not too bad, and um, it does happen. You know, through the winter months when it's not exclusive to us. Uh, hopefully, he's not out too long, and um, you know, that's the reason that yeah, we took a few loans in the um, in the window towards the end to to help us right the way through and, and make sure that this great chance that the club's got, we don't just run out of players.